When a series of worksheets have identical layouts, there are huge advantages to using what we call 3D formulas when creating summary sheets. In this workbook, you'll notice at the bottom, the sheet tabs, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, and as it turns out, there is a tab for all 50 states, and they all have exactly the same layout. Now, obviously different totals. What we want to do here is to create a summary sheet with the exact same layout as all these, and then on that summary sheet, tabulate all these totals. Now, there are two broad approaches to starting this off, and I think you'll see which way is going to work better. One is to say, why don't we take one of the state's data, like Alabama here, and simply copy this onto a sheet one here, and then readjust it and change the wording and so on. We can certainly do that. What would not happen, though, is not all the formatting that you wished would travel with it. A better way is simply to copy this sheet. So I'm about to drag the Alabama sheet leftward, put it in front of sheet one, and as I do this, I'll be holding down the control key. This is the fastest way to copy a sheet. I'm dragging Alabama leftward. I've got control held down. I deposit it just to the left of sheet one. Let go of the mouse first. I don't want to keep this name Alabama. I'm going to double click it and call it summary. And by the way, I could have put this at the very end of all the state names, and I can certainly move this there if that's where I think it belongs. Next thing to do is to change cell C3 so that this says summary. And although we don't really have to eliminate the data here, we could type over it, I am going to get rid of this data here. These are the raw numbers in the worksheet from Alabama. We want to get rid of those. The totals and the formulas along the edges are still there. Look a little strange right now since we have no data. But you see what's happening here. In this sheet one here, we either want to delete or maybe put it in front here. We might use that a bit later. So we're about to set up a summary sheet here. Now, if we were only using three sheets, suppose it's the first three, we could build a formula in the following way. In cell B6, which in all sheets, by the way, always means retail for SSDs, solid state devices. So we could write a formula on the summary sheet this way if we had only a few states. Now, I think you can see what's going to be problematic about this if we have more than just a few sheets. I'm going to type equal, click on Alabama, and click this cell, put in a plus, go to Alaska, click here, put in a plus. You really would have to keep your wits about you too if you're trying to do this 50 times. I'm going to Arizona and I'm gonna click there. That's enough for the demo. I'll just simply press enter here. And there is a formula that is correct, it's accurate, it only covers three states. And I think it's immediately obvious why we wouldn't want to be doing this for 50 states. We need a better way, and that way is a 3D formula. And at the core of what we're about to do here is the concept or the idea that there are times when dealing with multi-sheet workbooks where you want to select either a few sheets or a whole cluster of them. And the key idea is, for example, if we wanted to select all these sheets, we might click on the Alabama sheet and then with the shift key held down, go find that Wyoming sheet and click on it. Well, that's what we're about to do in this formula. And this is amazingly fast when you think of what we're about to do. We're about to tabulate data from 50 separate sheets. And I'm simply going to start here by clicking the Auto Sum button, found either on the Formulas tab on the left side or on the Home tab here. Here's Auto Sum. Click it once, saves us a little bit of typing. And now the key step to select all the sheets from Alabama to Wyoming. So I'll click Alabama at the bottom of the screen and then use the navigation arrows off to the left. I'll use the rightmost one so that we can see our last few sheet names. There's Wyoming. I'm about to click on it. I'll hold down the shift key and click Wyoming. And the only thing we need in this formula now is the reference to cell B6. So I'll click on it, enter, we're done. And this formula adds up data from 50 separate sheets, cell B6 in every case. I'll simply drag this down to here and then over to there. And this truly is a summary sheet. Next thing to do would be to drag across these cells, double click to adjust the column widths. Every one of the formulas in this part of the worksheet here is a so-called 3D formula. And it's not that long when you look at it. And the colon here, no doubt you know what that means. You've seen it with cell references. All the sheets between Alabama and Wyoming are included. We only see the first and the last here. 
Now, you will run into problems, of course, if you somehow decide to move these states around and put them in regional order. Uh, then you'd have to redesign the entire formula all over again, if that's what you need. But this is fast, it's easy, and again, the unusual step in there, but not that strange really, is the idea that we select all these sheets by clicking on the first sheet and then shift-clicking on the last. And this does all the work. There's no question that this is a huge time saver and a powerful tool. It's a 3D formula.